It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Walking Dead. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving headfirst into some thrilling news from The Walking Dead. Game Mail Entertainment and AMC have just dropped a bombshell. Get ready for The Walking Dead Destinies. If you've ever wondered what if while watching the hit TV show, this game is about to blow your mind. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break down all the juicy details. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. So let's go through some game overview stuff first. First of all, I can't be the only one who's wondered what might have happened if our favorite characters took different paths, right? Well, The Walking Dead Destinies is here to make those musings come to life. It's a third-person, narrative-driven action-adventure game that lets you reshape the story of seasons 1 to 4 of The Walking Dead on AMC. Now let's talk a little bit about exploring the iconic TV locations. Picture this, stepping into the shoes of Rick Grimes and walking through key locations from the show, like the green farm, the prison, Woodbury, and Atlanta itself. Game Mail promises an incredible experience where you can weave your own path through the series events. Those pivotal choice moments. Yeah, they can lead to different fates for your favorite characters. Who lives and who bites the dust? It's all in your hands. And speaking of characters, Destinies isn't holding back. Over a dozen beloved characters from the AMC TV show are making a return. Get ready to see Shane, Michonne, Carol, Daryl, and of course Rick himself and many more. Each character boasts unique abilities. And remember, resources are scarce, so... Depending on which character you're playing, you can have just bats, katanas, revolvers, shotguns, and crossbows. You can probably guess which character matches with which weapon. So choose your tools and your characters wisely. Now let's talk a little bit about the graphics and voices. Now, some folks might be raising an eyebrow at the graphics, but remember, the iconic Telltale's Walking Dead games weren't graphic powerhouses either. It's about the concept not necessarily about the graphics it's really about the story and kind of allowing you to rewrite the storyline which is awesome and yes it's a bummer that we won't be hearing the original actors voicing the characters but hey sometimes sacrifices are necessary to bring a project like this to life because of course all of the characters are involved in different projects both in the Walking Dead universe and outside of the Walking Dead so it's impossible to have everyone be able to come together to do this so like I said there had to be some sacrifices done along the way and this is just one of them now let's talk a little bit about what's the key focus the game seems to be honing in on some major story arcs like the Atlanta camp Herschel's farm, the prison, and possibly even Terminus. You heard it right. They might be dipping into season 5 territory too, but generally speaking, it looks like the spotlight is on the intense Rick versus Shane showdown. Imagine if Shane took the reins instead. Intriguing, right? So I think that's really where the focus is. Now let's talk a little bit about our channel's plan. Hold on to your crossbows or bats or revolvers whatever you choose because we're not stopping there on this channel we're going all out i'm planning to play through various versions of the game including the ones where shane takes the ultimate shot so i'm going to be playing as if shane killed rick instead which is going to be interesting so let's see how that pans out and what happens who knows we might even do a new series where we'll do a bunch of these different what if scenarios and do a video on it as we're playing the game. So what lies ahead? Let's talk a little bit about the future. If the feedback is great, we might just get a second game covering the rest of the seasons, so 5 to 12. It all depends on how much fans play the game, how much they enjoy it, and all of that good stuff. It's also a mystery 
whether we'll have the same choice-based mechanics going from one game to the other like we had with other Telltale's games. And what I mean by that is whether if they do end up making a second game, your decisions from the first game can be continued through or loaded onto the second game or whether you just have to go with some pre-made choices for the rest of the seasons. So for example, if I let Shane live, will I be able to play as Shane for the rest or will it go back to just the preset story that we had from seasons one to four? But it's safe to say that if the first installment is a hit, we're in for a wild ride. They might not stop on The Walking Dead. They might do this for Fear and also for the new spin-offs like Dead City and the Daryl Dixon show and obviously the Rick and Michonne, the ones who live. But that's far into the future and it all depends on how well this first game does. And there you have it. This is my breakdown of The Walking Dead, Destinies. It seems like this game is about to become the playground for Walking Dead fans' wildest what-if scenarios. I'm beyond excited to sink my teeth into this game and break it down, not just from a game perspective, but also from a story perspective as well. So going beyond just the game itself. But that's pretty much it. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.